Hi everyone! Um, I saw a new technique using the bloom technique and just kind of switching it up a little bit and creating a flower design. Um, so for the bloom technique you use um, house paint instead of regular paint for your base coat. So I have um, that all here and you can see it's really nice and thick. Um, and then I have um, each of my colors, I have some different shades of purple and pink mixed up with Sherwin-Williams Ultra Deep Base, which is an untinted um, base for house paint. So again, really nice and thick. And then I have black and gold mixed up. Um, these are just the paint along with um, Australian Floetrol. And so these are slightly thinner and this helps create the cells on top when you do your bloom. So I'm working on a 16 inch wood circle. I already have it taped down, but I have um, my cake stand so you can see it spins. And then I also taped down a couple of um, extra stir sticks. So I have a little handle and I can spin it a little bit and kind of move it around. And then I also have my hair dryer. I think this will be strong enough. Um, with my paint being thicker, you need a stronger airflow. If this doesn't work, I have other hair dryers I can grab. Um, and I also have my airbrush. But what I'm planning on doing is just putting my paint down towards the middle and then blowing it up and creating a flower shape. So I'm just gonna start by putting a bunch of my base paint down. And I think I have plenty mixed up. Once I actually spin this out, a lot of this will, or some of it will come off. But I just have a metal spatula that I can use to smooth this out and make sure I get some good coverage before I start putting the rest of my colors down. And then I'm gonna go with my magenta. And I do have enough mixed up. I can probably do some coasters with these or try a second one, depending on how this one turns out. <clears throat> and this purple and my last purple that I have are both metallics. So I think along with the gold, that might give it a really nice pop of color. And this one is a much lighter purple. And then we'll just start blowing out and see what happens. So that black kind of overtook the purple. Um, you can still see some of it in there. So it's not exactly what I wanted, but I'm gonna try spinning a little bit and see if I can pull it out a little bit more. Um, but I do like it. I really like how there's really dense color right here, but then it gets really flowy and airy out here. Um, so let's just see if I can spin this a little bit. I think I overdid it a little bit too much, but let's see. Uh, can I tilt it? Right. Let's tilt it down a little bit. You can still kind of see the edges of what would be the petals before spinning, um, but I do like the shape and I do like the colors. I'm getting a lot of really nice cells in here. I'm just gonna smooth this out. So it still kind of has the flower shape, but again, not really what I'm going for. Uh, next time, definitely less black or maybe some white to create my cells. Uh, I do like the gold in there. I, that's obviously metallic, so it's gonna dry really nicely. I'm just kind of removing a little bit of that excess purple that I had at the bottom, just like I did over there. 
as I smear my paint. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna touch this up just a little bit more. I kind of keep messing with it and my shape keeps, there we go. My shape keeps changing a little bit, but I just wanna get a nice stem going. Um, but obviously for my first try, it's not that bad. There's definitely things that I'll do differently next time. Uh, as it sits here, more cells are definitely popping up. So that lighter purple and then that violet you can see are starting to show up in here. I'm getting a lot of really nice cells over here. I really like the flow and this like ethereal, uh, ghostly look up at top. So I think this definitely, um, from what I've seen from other people, they made some really beautiful flowers with this. So I'm just gonna keep on trying and I'll do one of these every once in a while. Um, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know what colors you'd like to see in this. I think I'll definitely do one with some blues and turquoise, but if there are other colors, um, I'll definitely test out different ones. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.